Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I am going out hunting this morning, and if you're seeing it, then that means something awesome happened. We smoked a big old deer or something, because I take the cameras with me every time I'm hunting, but I only post the videos if something really cool happened. Y'all have to excuse my whispering. It's like four in the morning, everybody else is asleep. I'm packing my gear up, heading out to the woods. Let me show you what I'm taking this morning. Where'd it go? I can't be losing. Taking my 243. It's right here beside me. This is my 243 Weatherby Vanguard. Super, super nice. Why am I taking my 243? Well, I'm fixing to show you. Last week I sighted it in with some of this new core locked tipped ammo. And that rifle absolutely loves it. So uh, we pretty much clover leafed them. These are the Remington core locked tipped rounds. Pretty much clover leafed them at 100 yards. Wow. So, uh, yeah. I love a combo rocking. Put that bow light exactly where I want it. So that's what we're taking out today, 243. My buddy gave me permission to go out on his place. Appreciate you big time. We won't name any names. We'll keep the confidential. Uh, don't ask me where it is because it's in a secret location. But I appreciate him um, letting me come out to hunt. That really means a lot to me. Appreciate it big time. But let's hit the road. The sun's going to be coming up here in two hours. And we got to find some whitetail. Should be pretty fun. All right, y'all, we're headed over to the secret spot at my buddy's. East is that away ish And we're getting a little bit slow start. You can see there's a little bit of the sun coming up. We'll be there in a minute, but we might be walking in, creeping in just as we're starting to get a little bit of light. But uh, should be a good morning. I can smell it in the air. The deer are going to be on their feet. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. But, hey, next time you see me, I'll be in the woods keeping my eyes peeled for some of those whitetails. I'm excited for this morning. I think it's going to be a good morning. I'll see y'all in the woods. All right. All right, we made it over here to my buddy's place. We're up in the tree. All right, so I'm back from hunting and I'm sitting here narrating the video for you. Sitting there in the trees, it's kind of chilly, but it's like 60 degrees. So I just wore this long sleeve shirt and wouldn't you know it, about 8.30, right to my right, there's a little hill. I'll pop up a picture I took of myself trying to be all fancy and do some modeling. Okay, so in this little hill right there, I was just thinking to myself, wouldn't that be picture perfect? Deer walk up right there and then plenty of time to get the cameras on them, pop them. Well, guess what? That's exactly what happened. Right at about 8.30, the biggest whitetail I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> I'm just scanning, you know, real slow, slow scanning like you do. There he is right there. Snuck up right behind me. And I'm pretty much eyeballed to him at 
10 yards, 15 yards. He doesn't see me, he doesn't smell me. He jumps the fence onto the property that I'm hunting and it's real thick stuff. Um, I had told my buddy, I told him, hey man, I just want to shoot does. We talked about it last night. He said, oh, if you see this particular spike, shoot him too. And I said, okay. Well then, uh, this morning, he said, if you see a nice buck, man, just shoot it. And I was like, no, no, I'm just, I really just want to film some doe hunts. You know, it's late in the season. Um, I would hate to shoot one of your big deer. And that's what we talked about. And then I headed into the woods. Well then, here comes this buck, right? And I'm like, <laughs> freaking out, okay? You don't get that close to monsters that often. At least I don't. I never do. Shoot, I'm lucky just to see a deer out hunting all the public land that I hunt. And here he goes, the biggest monster buck. So I had a, a split second. I said, hmm, well, he did tell me I could shoot a buck, but I told him I wasn't going to. And I said, well, I made it up in my mind. If this buck keeps coming into some clear space where I can get the cameras on and we can film this buck and the shot, then it was meant to be. So I turned the camera on me. I turned my main camera that I filmed the deer with on. And I'll show you the clip right here where he's coming in front of me. But there's some thick stuff. I could have shot him. I could have shot him about six or seven different times. Ended up watching him for probably 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Uh, but right as he was coming into the lane where I had a perfect clear view for the camera to show you guys me hitting that buck, something spooked him, um, and he just whoosh, switched directions and then started walking up the hill this way, which is super thick stuff. You'll hear in a second, I stopped him twice. I did the, meh. He stopped, looked around. I was hoping he'd come back his direction. Then he'd take a couple more steps, stopped him again. Meh! And this, and, uh, I could have shot him right there, too. But at the end of the day, that dude walked away. Um, biggest whitetail I've ever seen up that close. In my book, that's a monster. I'm telling you, like, on the inside, I'm crying so bad. Like, went there planning to shoot does. My buddy told me if I see a buck to shoot it. I told him I wasn't going to shoot any of his bucks. Then this monster comes out right next to me. Didn't see any does all day. Now, mm, well, if we get if we get a good camera view of him, we'll go ahead and film him and take him down. But then he didn't give us the camera view. So, hey, wasn't meant to be. But, hey, that's what it is. That's deer hunting. Filming the deer in the woods is a lot harder than it looks. That's why a lot of times you see these people on the shows and whatnot, they'll have a guy up in the tree who's just focused on all the cameras. If you're doing it by yourself, you're the dude with the rifle and the with the cameras, it makes it 10 times harder. Like literally, that deer was standing right, right next to me. I, I could have popped him about 10 different times. Um, I had him in the scope several times. But hey, we didn't take him down. That's, that's just one of those things, you know. Uh, I could have had him down and, and it would have been dandy. Biggest whitetail that I would have ever taken in my life. 
But damn, we wouldn't have had the shot on the film. And but good news is, hey, he's still out there. Maybe my buddy will get a crack at him this afternoon. That would be awesome. I hope that he does. Uh, he wasn't running or going far or anything. I think he, that big old buck was just bumming around, trotting around. But, hey, it is what it is. That's what happened today. That's my story. Today, I passed on the biggest whitetail that I've ever seen with my own eyeballs. Uh, but, hey, I had a blast out there. Appreciate my buddy letting me come hunt out there on his place. That really means a lot to me. Hopefully, he gets a crack at him or maybe even another buck. But stay tuned, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to be taking this, this 243 out with me on my trips the rest of this season, if y'all can see that. This is the 95 grain core locked tip stuff from Remington. My Weatherby 243 absolutely loves. But I could ramble on all day. Uh, but hey, that's what happened in the woods with me this morning. Windy, warm day, 60 degrees, 8.30 in the morning. Big old buck came out. We got the cameras on him just for a little bloop bloop, but not good enough uh, to smoke him on film. So he lived to see another day. Wasn't meant to be. But hey, we got to see some, got to see a real pretty deer out there. But appreciate y'all watching. Comment down below what you think. Most people are just going to be like, you're crazy, man. You should have just popped him. That makes no sense. But hey, I like filming them almost as much as I like putting bullets in them. Hey, maybe we'll film him again. I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed to the Hootie Who channel. Don't forget to share the videos with your friends. That really means a lot to me. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hootie Who.